100 goals in a glittering career, puts one unhappy year at Leeds behind him and becomes Newcastle United's oldest debutant for 70 years in the number eight shirt vacated by Les Ferdinand. The nine, of course, is the property of the injured Alan Shearer and Rush will take the major attacking role today with Tino Aspria delayed on returning from a World Cup match for Colombia. Keith Gillespie is preferred in the starting lineup to Yvonne Dahl Thomason. John Barnes won't make his debut today. He has a thigh strain. Aston Villa welcome back Mark Bosnich in goal, but they're without Andy Townsend, who picked up an injury playing for Ireland. So Simon Grayson plays in midfield. Sabo Milosevic is left out as Brian Little reverts to their tried and trusted system, but both wing-backs are changed. Steve Staunton returns after suspension on the left to replace Alan Wright, and Fernando Nelson's position goes today to Gary Charles, who makes a welcome return to the Premiership after an absence of 16 months. He fractured an ankle at the end of the season before last. It's Gary Willard of Worthing in charge, and if you're high on the drug called Premier League football, well, you probably had some withdrawal symptoms the last 10 days, but it's back, and uh, Newcastle in those uh, familiar black and white stripes playing from the right in a match which last season finished 4-3 in their favour. Dwight York scored a hat-trick for Aston Villa and had one. Was in a good position to meet that. It's good backing by Steve Watson. He gets the better of two Villa players, leaves them in his wake, and it's a good ball back. Albert, even though it was his left foot, caught it somewhat horribly. Gillespie. Oh, that's a good turn. Lee to his right. Rush coming into the centre now. And just scrambled out for the corner by Gareth Southgate. Good turn by Keith Gillespie here. And Ian Rush was waiting, just in case. Now for the corner, Albert is up. Stuart Pearce is up. So is Watson. And the header was by Taylor. Lee. Gets it back from Kitzbeyer. Albert is still forward. Ian Rush is there. And it's come back to Beresford for the shot. Oh, it's a goal! It's a goal by John Beresford again! What a spell this man's having. Beresford, who'd only ever scored twice for Newcastle in his career until he got two in the European match. Now volleys a tremendous goal in the Premiership after 12 minutes. Didn't he strike it beautifully? Bosnich, well, he puts his right arm up, but it's already in the roof of the net. Oh, helped on nicely by Albert to Lee, and there's room in front of the captain here. He's also got Watson wide. And Beresford's there again, and so was Gillespie, and they have a corner. That's Colin Moore. Well worth the effort. And perfectly able to produce the unexpected Stan Collymore. In fact, sometimes the argument goes his colleagues don't know what he's going to do, but he only had one thing in mind here. This was a measured right foot volley that was dipping. Didn't see Lee earlier, pity about that. Saw Rush coming in and put it behind him. Ketzbeyer had the best effort. Bosnich turned it away. Corner. Bear is up, away by Staunton. And Newcastle also will be hoping to avoid any mishaps with the match in Croatia on Wednesday next. And they lead 2-1 in that uh, qualifying tie for the Champions League with all its bountiful riches. But they would go into the UEFA Cup if they were to lose that, by the way. So uh, Europe beckons both teams, come what may. Schimica. And again, got it back off Taylor. Nice play, Draper. Could be on for Aston Villa here. Oh, and Dwight York. Oh, their best move by a long way. What a good combination. But 
Dwight York denied at the end by the sheer presence, I think, of a couple of defenders. Draper gets it through to him. York actually did take it early, but he steered it, unusually for him, wide of the post. Has to go down. Oh, this is David Batty. And is he going to be off? He's got to go. He's got to go with the red card. It's the second offence by David Batty. Impetuous, I think, is the word more than anything else. And for two offences deemed bookable, England's David Batty is sent off and Newcastle are down to ten men. Quite why he had to dive in exactly like that is another matter. He obviously thought he could make the ball initially, but he knew on the expression on his face, once he'd missed the ball and got Staunton, he knew he had to go. In fact, Batty was walking before they showed the card. Fire has gone off. It's a free kick to Aston Villa. Now, this may change the complexion of the match. There are boos all around the ground. I think, technically, the referee had little choice. But what Kenny Dalglish has done, he's brought on Warren Barton to stiffen things up with Batty having gone and uh, put him in midfield and taken off Ketz Bayer. So, he had a yellow card as well, Ketz Bayer, by the way. Southgate comes forward in stoppage time for Aston Villa, right. This is Nelson. Oh, Taylor didn't make it, here's Jochen. Southgate, blocked by Gillespie. Well, that's left uh, Taylor hobbling a bit, but Villa still have a chance, it's Draper. Taylor's in there again, and he's still there, and he's found Nelson. Oh, Colin Hall's about to run onto that. And there's some desperate defending by Newcastle. Lead points for Newcastle so far. It's three defeats in a row for Aston Villa, even though they played against ten men. Rob Lee, the pick of the bunch for Newcastle, in my view, led them really well. And the referee, who was talking there to Southgate at the end, but he sent off David Batty for two yellow card offences, which meant that Newcastle played for 37 minutes a man short but the goal earlier in the game by Beresford was enough Aston Villa with Dwight York slightly off key there with the two chances are still looking for their first goal of the season